This is a fishing report for San Diego, July 10th. I launched in gray light, was out in about 120 feet of water, getting my paddle on, watching my meter, had the flat fall on the slow pitch jig, looking for a structure on the bottom to drop on. I found a big, uh, big rock, had a lot of bait on it. I went ahead and marked the waypoint right away. Dropped down, caught a sandy, came back. There was a real, uh, a real good current today. It was a, a downhill current. So by the time I would drop down, catch fish, get it unhooked, I would have to paddle back to the spot. I did this probably a dozen times. Each time it would hit the bottom, it would be an instant hookup. Hit a real nice mark. In about drop down through it, pick something up, slow pitch. Huh. Sand bass. Been catching a lot of them on the slow pitch. Instant, instant hookup on the slow pitch. I metered this spot in 115 and although I'm drifting off it as soon as it hits the bottom not monsters but they're a bunch of sandy stacked up and they're fat sandies too <laughs> this is fun. They must just be stacked up down there. So after leaving the sand bass spot, I paddled over to a waypoint that I had created back when the lobster pots were set. At that time, it was big structure and it was holding some fish. At this time, it was eventually holding fish, but I had to, I, I started out with the, uh, the flat fall. And then I went over to the, the vertically fished tube jigs and eventually I used cut bait. And I like to use about a two ounce weight, which isn't a lot, but generally I'm going to get bit right away and I don't drift with it a lot, don't let my line bow out. So in this case, what I did was I would paddle into the wind, I would paddle into the current, and right when I got over the spot, I would drop down my bait and free spool, and then I would allow the inertia from my kayak to take me forward. I would quickly stall, and I would begin to drift back, and just about the time my bait was hitting the bottom, I was back vertical over it. I would hook a fish almost every time, and then I would, um, after I would take the fish off and rebait and get all reset up, I, I would charge it again. The tracks on my fish finder look like a big uh, a ball of string at the end of the day. I fished that way until about 9 o'clock and then the fish just turned off for me at 9 o'clock. So I was back on the beach by 10 and heading home.
taking. There he is. Oh. Uh, taking drag. I'm feeling good. <laughs> Oh man! This one's taking drag. Oh, it's nice. It's gonna be a big sheep's head. I get a little, it takes it back. It's just a big, heavy fish. Now I got a seal under me. Personal best right there. Wow. That's all for this week. This is John Poblock saying goodbye. Get off the mark. I'm drifting pretty fast, dr drifting downhill. Get off the mark and that's it. Must be some structure that the bait's keyed on.